Effective stretch wrapping is the best way to help your products get to their final destination in as made condition. The key to effective stretch wrapping is to have the right amount of pressure or containment force everywhere on the load. What's so hard about that? When setting up a machine to wrap a load, there are so many choices. It's all about choices. Choices and more choices. There are 12 settings with lots of choices and adjustments that must be made. It's a frustrating process to make the adjustments, check them, and then do it all over again several times, attempting to get the right containment force. Where do you start? What should the wrap force be set at? How do you know if you have enough pressure or containment force holding the load together? How fast do you run the film delivery system? And how much overlap should be in between the film layers, both going up and coming down? Not to mention that there are so many film choices. The biggest is what film gauge, then what film type, and film width. What's the right pre-stretch level? How many top wraps and bottom wraps? What's the right number of film layers? The problem with all these adjustments is the impact of the changes are interactive and largely invisible, creating an intense pain level when trying to figure out the containment force. And failure to get them right can result in damage. So, how can you know? Did you make the right choices or are you taking avoidable risks?